formally opened the school and unveiled a commemorative tablet. Her Royal Highness afterwards went round the school, seeing for herself what excellent work is being carried out here and talking with many of the children. Aboard the world's first nuclear-powered ship, the United States submarine Nautilus, a Movertone camera gives you a glimpse of the ultra-modern controls of this revolutionary craft. The roomy mess deck seems vast compared with the cramped quarters of ordinary submarines. Nautilus was making her first cruise to the port of New York in connection with America's Armed Forces Week. New York, of course, never fails to give a distinguished visitor a hearty welcome, and so it was on this occasion as the atomic submarine arrived. The liner United States brought distinguished passengers to La Havre. Ex-President Harry Truman has been to France twice before. His wife, however, was paying her first visit to Europe. Their tour was a private, non-political trip, and the first call was at Paris. There was a big press reception here, but Mr. Truman kept on walking. The Trumans are later coming to Britain, where they'll certainly be very welcome. At Bremerhaven, the Kingsport Victory brought to Germany the first cargo of heavy American equipment for the Federal Republic. The handing over of these tanks forms part of the mutual aid program of the North Atlantic Treaty. Newest partner in the alliance of 15 free nations, West Germany, which joined NATO about a year ago, would obviously be of little help without arms. This first consignment, together with the shiploads that are to follow, is planned to strengthen the NATO shield against the possibility of aggression. Men never make passes at girls who wear glasses. Don't you believe it? Especially when the glasses are carefully chosen to go with the hat and the occasion. Barbara Larson of Minneapolis has won the title Miss Beauty in Glasses of 1956, and she clearly makes the point that one pair of specs is not enough for a really smart girl. A good example is this pair chosen for evening wear. They have the upward look to match the milliner's flight of fancy. wedding of the utmost simplicity 